Hi everyone, welcome back. This is another area which I see a lot of students get these questions wrong in assessments. It's almost like there's a thing that happens where their brain mixed up. They sort of know what they're doing, but then they just get mixed up, which is human nature, and we do it all the time. Let's have a look what's happening. If we start with seven and we added four, and we added another four, and we added another four, and we kept on adding four all the time. I talk, like talking about money. If you had seven dollars in your bank account, and your parents are going to add four dollars each day, and you say, how long would it take for you to reach having, say, $203 in your bank account. How many days would it take? Now, what are we back to? First of all, we're talking about it being an AP. What are we talking about? An AP, an arithmetic progression. We're adding four each time. We're not saying prove it's an arithmetic progression or any of those details. It's just obvious that it's an arithmetic progression. This is going up by fours. So which formula applies to that? It's this formula. Now, here in Western Australia, the formulas are on your formula sheet. You can use them all tests and all examinations. Unless a teacher happens to for one test, say I want it to be a non-calculator section and no resources. Let's have a look at what we're going to do. What's our choices? I can think of students over the years who just would get mixed up on what to do. And they put 203 into here. So it's not saying 203 is the term. For example, we have to add 200, add four, add four, add four, add four, 203 times. What it's saying is the term itself the number that we're going to get to over here is going to be 203. And we don't know what number it is, so we just call it Tn. So the nth term, we refer to it, nth term, the nth term is going to be 203. So it's not 203 there, it's 203 there. And I can see so many students, that even if they watch this and they're comfortable, sort of, it's still, they'll make mistakes in assessments when you're under pressure and you're nervous and you're hurrying and everything. So the first term is given in the formula, and then we've got this n minus 1. So that's obvious, you've got no choice, that has to be 7. D is obvious, it's going up by 4s, so that has to be 4. The only thing is, do you put the 203 here or the 203 there? And I'm nagging a bit because of how many people I see get it wrong. Now the rest is eight algebra and solving equations. I'm going to go this way, let me expand the bracket first. So you've got an n times 4 is just a 4n, and be careful, you've got a minus 1 times 4, and that's a minus four. So I could add up the terms first, so I can go 203, seven take four is three, plus four n, simple equation to solve. Get rid of three on this side, get three on this side. Now a lot of you could do that in the head, but there'll be students who can't. So let's take our time, it's 200 equals four n. Now we're not gonna divide by 200, we're gonna divide by four. Sorry, I've been nagging about that a lot. And you go, the fours cancel, and then I usually write, most mathematicians will write the the um, variable first, the n first. So n equals 50. So when we get to the 50th, so there's the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. When we get to the 50th number, we'll have 203. So the 50th term is, 200, is 203. Be careful though, as if it said how many days would it get take to get the 203 when they've just put $7 in the bank. You've got the first one already in. So it's not gonna take 50 days it's going to take 49 days. But this question wasn't about that. They just said which term is it. But be careful if they're talking about, especially about money. Next one, though, you do the same thing, exactly the same question. Some of you might not need to watch it. But let's have a look what happens if you do. And we talk about here, we know what A is. I've changed it to a 5. We've got an N take 1. And this time we're going up by 3s. So each time we're adding 3. So we're timesing by 3. And this time we want it to equal 100. But what's the problem that's going to happen? We're going to talk about it first. Fractions. And so many people mark up the fractions. That's all there is to it. Let's have a look at it. Now we've got 100. I'm going to use the same system. I could go five, take 5 first. Maybe I'll do that this time. If I took 5 there, I'd take 5 there. If I subtract 5 from one side, I'll subtract it from the other. Of course, there's people who are just not confident with this. And then we're left with... N times three, and you write the number first, three N, not N times three. Then minus one times three is minus three. Solve that equation. How do I get rid of a minus three? I add three to this side, I add three to that side. And I end up with 98 equals three N. Now when I divide by three, I, can, I instantly know that that's not divisible by three. By the way, if it was 99, it's divisible by three. So when we divide by 3, we have this horrible situation where we're left with 98 over 3. 
Now, this can be in the non-calculator section in Western Australia and in other states as well. So you've got a problem without a calculator. It, it probably doesn't amaze me how many people don't know how to go 3 into 98. So I'm going to do it here for those of you who don't need it. You probably don't need the rest of the video. 3 into 9 goes 3. 3 into 8 goes twice. And there's 2 left over. So that's 2 thirds. So it's saying that N equals 32 and 2 thirds. So what's going to happen? When we get to the 32nd term, it will not have gone far enough. So watch out for this. You've always got to go up to the next. So I could write over here and just go up to the next, next whole number. And let's have a look at it. Those who need it, most of you would be probably okay and just go, ah, oh, don't use the 32nd term, I use the 33rd term. So let's have a look what's going to happen. The 32nd term I've got written over here, so I don't have to think about it, is 98. And the 33rd term is 101. So I go back to the wording of the question. We've got how many terms of 5, 8, 11, 13 will it take to it gets past 100? To pass 100. So if I write over here, I can say that term 32 is 98. And term 33 is 101. So if term 32 is not big enough, but term 33 is. Now, if you weren't sure on how I got those numbers there, and you want to understand where they come from, I'm going to do that separately. Here we go. We want the 32nd term, because we know we want 32nd term, maybe the 33rd term. Let's have a look what's going on. How do we get the 32nd term? Go back to the basic formula. Term 33 is A plus N minus 1B. Let's have a look what it is. So what's A for this question? That's 5. Now we want 33. This time, we're talking about the N being 33. So the 33 goes there, minus 1, times by the common difference of 3. And what have we got? We've got a 5 plus 32, time, uh, 32 times 3. I can't help making silly mistakes all the time. So we've got 5 plus 96, which is 101. So the 30, you can see now that the 33rd term will be bigger than 100. Now, these type of questions go on and on there with possibilities. Eh? I'm thinking about how many videos I can make and put into the uh, sequences and series playlist that I've got because it just goes on and on. I do have a few in mind, so if you want to watch the others, I've got quite a few I'm thinking about making in future. It's one playlist that I've never added enough to, and yet it's in year 11 in one course in Australia, and it's in year 12 in another course in Australia. But the ones that do it in year 12 don't quite go as hard, but they still do this type of thing. So you can always check the 32nd term as well. So that'll be the A, which is 5, plus 32, take 1, times the common difference of 3. So there's the N, that's the position. 32 is the position. The position that you've got in the order. So what have we got? We've got term 32 is 5, plus 31 times 3. So this time that's 5 plus 93, which gives us 98. So the 32nd term is not big enough. So we go back to here. When you get the 30, 32 and 2 thirds, you're going to automatically know the 30 seconds is not going to be big enough. So you need the 30, 30, third term. All oh, get tongue twisted. I hope that helps. If you're enjoying that, um, please let your friends know and press like. Thanks for watching.